Hi everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Peely Unpeeled from Fortnite. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, they did it. They did Peely and Peeled. So, okay. <laughs> Super weird, super crazy, but uh, you know that's that's the uh, that's the gimmick, right? That's the craziness of of Peely Unpeeled, right? I mean, it's just called Unpeeled, so is it still Peely Unpeeled? I mean, that's what I'm calling him, but uh, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know. So anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna draw him in a. He's a happy pose. He's happy to be out, um, getting some sun. Uh, but there are some questions now about uh, his uh, anatomy. Um, he's got fingers, but he doesn't have toes. Okay. All right. I mean, I'm not going to fight. But yeah, it's kind of crazy. So... Yeah, so this one won't take very much because it's, it's basically anatomy. Well, you know, like I said, at least the anatomy that he has. Um, but... Uh, there's not going to be a lot of crazy armor or, you know, stuff like that. So it's pretty much just drawing shorts, anatomy, and the hat. Oh, I'm drawing the hat version, by the way. Well, I guess you know that. I don't know why I'm explaining it to you. You see it. You know the picture. But uh, at this point in time, for me, that does not exist. I don't know how this is going to come out. So it's always fascinating, too. Or maybe it's not. Maybe you guys are bored of me saying that over and over again. But to me, it's fascinating that you are my future. And uh, I don't know how it's going to come out yet. Okay. That looks good for the legs. Let's see. Let's, uh... I think I'm kind of leaning back, kind of... Sorry, sorry if I just stopped talking, but a lot of times I, I start concentrating, and that's why I, uh, I get lost in the drawing, which is good, because I don't think anybody's even here. I don't think anybody listens to this stuff. I think you just jump straight to the end or whatnot, and that's okay, but that just means I'm just going to keep talking, and we'll see what happens, right? All right, let's get him waving, just a good old peely wave. He looks a little surprised. I mean, I guess he is surprised to be alive, right? Because as far as the story goes, last we knew, um, he was uh, blended, right? Hey, is the story still happening? Because when uh, and everything happened, and and there was the uh, the it changed and all this stuff, we saw. We saw this crazy um, in the office thing and all that stuff. Is that still happening? I mean, I guess I guess not until the next big event, right? But uh, yeah, it's kind of strange how they went with that crazy storyline, and now we don't know if it's happening. Do you guys care about that? Does anybody care if there's a storyline? I I'm just curious where they're going with it because they introduced it you know it wouldn't wouldn't make any difference to me but oh now I'm kind of curious it's like oh what what are you guys gonna do because it seems like yeah you've got a storyline you know there's something that you want to do okay that'll work for that Get this arm down real fast. Okay. 
But anyway, the reason I'm asking is because you know how it switched over to um, the the Marvel stuff and everything that's going on. I didn't know if they've abandoned it and and we just move on and don't think about it, or if if it's uh, gonna happen. Okay, I think that's good sketch-wise. Let me put a hat on him real fast. And that should be enough to get us going. Okay, so let me add just, just a few of these little, um, what, what do you call them, little straws, breaks in the hat, the little Hawaiian punch guy hat. What I'm not gonna do is draw the weaved basket that this actually does, not basket, but the weaved look that this is actually breaking apart of. I'm not gonna do that. No time, no time. And I'm not going to draw exactly like his. I'm just kind of, you know, as long as I represent that there, it's it's unweaved, that should work. Okay. All right. Oh, and there's a string, or I guess a rope that's holding it together. Put some beads on there. Tie it together here. Okay, I think I am ready. Let me erase some of these lines, just because uh, I just don't want the Sharpie to, I mean, I don't want the pencil line to stand out. I want the Sharpie to stand out. So I'm just gonna erase the, the lighter lines and the darker lines. My confidence lines are the ones that are gonna guide me and we can get going. Let's also welcome anybody that skipped. And move on to the Sharpie town. Welcome skippers, welcome to the sharp portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find the things that the fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased a majority of it, but left myself enough to see the lines I want to put down for this Sharpie adventure. And I'm going to start with... I guess the Sharpie fine point for his eyes to see where we are, but I just realized I need to draw that string first, right? Well, let's draw the eyes. Let's just put them in here. Let's let's get them, let's get them going. Okay, and they're not going to be perfect circles, and they they don't need to be anyway. I mean, they're just they're peely eyes, you know, or unpeeled eyes. I I was talking about that in the sketch. Is it unpeeled? I don't I don't know where. Is it peely unpeeled or just unpeeled? And look, this one's bigger than that one. That one's too small. That's okay. I'm good with that. I'm fine with it. Don't worry about little things like that. Just enjoy yourself and have a good time. Let's draw the hat first. Then I can draw the string. Then I can draw the body. Because you want to draw what's in front first, and then you draw what's behind. That way you don't accidentally draw through something. You know, you plan it out. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So the hat, we're going to add some of the extra little, little uh, breaks or the where it's, where it's coming apart on the edges like this and just just do a few because we can't draw all of them and uh, we're, we're not going to need to draw it exactly like it is because just by drawing a few we kind of get the point across you know and also we're not going to draw the the uh, weave that this is breaking apart from because it's like a, a woven hat and uh, we don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Because, like I said, this, this gets the point across. Okay, let me bring it back up to the edge there. And it's got a, uh, like a band over it on the edge. Like that. And it's going to come up. And now I'm kind of following the sketch. These are a little bit longer. It's very, very dramatic how, how long they are. 
but it helps, you know, it breaks it up. It's not uh, small like that one down there. So it, like I said, it makes it, it makes it a little bit more dynamic, you know, instead of just drawing the same thing over and over again. Okay, let's see, we'll do something in the back. Something like that, then I'll reconnect them in a second. Okay, so now that I have that, I can start drawing the shape uh, of Peely to know, because I know I'm following it up like this, so I can draw his actual banana head. Okay. I'll start adding a little bit of detail so you see where we are. See, it looks like there's like almost like a wrap kind of feel to it, so we'll just do something like that just to make it stand out. Okay, didn't quite connect here, so let me clean that up real fast. And let me add just a few more little weaves in here, just to, or to clean some of this up too, just to uh, define some edges. All right, that ought to be enough. Okay, so like I said, there's a pattern where it's all woven. I'm not gonna worry about that. It's good. Let's see, any place else? Yeah, let's make this one square. Just like that, you know, just a simple little crazy old hat. Now, um, I'm going to try to do the string before I draw the body because I don't want to draw through this. It may happen, but I'm going to try not to, okay? So I'm going to bring it down this way and come back up. And I'm going to try to draw a, th a thin, a hollow line is what I'm trying to say. And I'm going to try to come back and do it again. Okay, I'm going to tie it right there. Come back up. Now, I don't know if I could do it exact. I don't know if I could do it perfect. And that's a little thin too. Let me try, I've got a thicker pen that I don't like because it's too thick. But it's not, it's not quite this thick and it's not quite that thin. So that's why, let me try this one real fast. I'm gonna go over this. Yeah, it's not that much different. Okay, now I'm gonna to try to follow it to make a hollow line. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I'm not worried about it, but I am gonna try, okay? So like this, just parallel to the other line, just to give it depth. Like that, awesome. Oh, and there are little beads. Let's add those beads real fast. All right, so I'm gonna to try to do the same thing here. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I'm not worried about it. All right, that worked. I'll do that, I'll keep that. So now I can draw Peely's shape and not worry about uh, going through it. Now, the downside is it is kind of behind it a little bit, so there's only so much I can do. So let's go ahead and say that it's coming down here like this. There's his side. And I'm not gonna connect it because his arm is connecting. This is where it's gonna pick back up and go to his uh, his pants there. So same thing, this is coming down, kind of behind that. And again, that's where the shoulder's gonna be, so I'm not gonna worry too much about the line. But I'm gonna connect it here, and there to his shorts, okay? Something like that. So let's go ahead and draw these arms while we're here. Oh, you know what? Let's give him a little mouth before I forget. Oops, wrong Sharpie, wrong Sharpie. Okay, let's draw this arm. It's just hanging down. And draw a shoulder onto his bicep. And we're basically just drawing anatomy is all we're doing. And the forearm to the wrist. Let's do the other side so you see the shape of it. The underside to the elbow. The forearm 
to the wrist, okay? And it's an arm, so you're not gonna see a lot of lines, but we'll add to stuff like that just to show that muscle definition and tone in a banana for some reason. <laughs> okay, so his hand's just hanging down, nothing crazy. I'm gonna draw the thumb. And then the uh, fingers are just dangling, so go back here. This is middle finger. There's ring fingers behind that. And so is the pinky. All right, so now I'm going to define a few edges. Bad, not bad. Let's leave it at that. I don't want to. Okay, maybe one more. Just define that round, meaty part of your hand. Okay. So this one is gonna, he's gonna be, you know, waving to you. So we're gonna draw the shoulder onto the bicep, to the crook of the arm, the underside, to the elbow, and it's bent up. There's the wrist, like that. Again, not much we're gonna add, but I'm gonna go ahead and do something like this. Again, just to show a little bit of the musculature in a banana and draw this hand out, just kind of waving like that, okay? So I'm gonna draw this thumb. Bring it into the hand. Bring it into the hand, bring it into the, the middle part of the hand is what I was trying to say. The uh, the part that's not the fingers, how's that? All right, not bad, not bad. Again, I'm gonna highlight stuff. So, let's see what we got here. Try not to go too crazy, because sometimes I draw too much on the hand. But uh, it's fun, you know, that's the thing. All right, let's clean some of it up. Uh, well, it's not too bad. Yeah, let's leave it at that. I'm not gonna go overboard. Okay, so I'm going to draw his, his uh, shorts. Let me draw his string too, before I forget. This is like a little, you know, tied board shorts. But I wanted to do this before I forgot. That's basically why I was doing this. All right, and there is an edge and all that, but I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna do that with color. So we're just drawing shorts, okay? there. This one's coming down like this. Like that. Pretty simple. Now we're just going to draw <laughs> anatomy for a banana. banana me. <laughs> Alright, so his little knees right there coming down to his shin. Or I'm sorry, his, yeah, his shin. We'll draw the back too again so you can see where we are. Then his weirdo foot. I was talking about this in the sketch. It's strange that he uh, he has fingers, but he doesn't have toes. But okay, I mean, it is a banana man, so we can't get too specific about complaints, right? Okay, so there's a rope around this, so I kind of want to... Let me draw the rope first. Because again, I don't want to draw through anything. Alright, so now I can draw the front of the foot. The, the nub of the toe. So to speak. Like that. And then let's do this for his, his little flip flops. Let's do it with a smaller sharpie. Just to, again, act and not make it stand out too much.
or to compliment, I guess, because it's such a thick line. All right. Okay, so now we're just gonna do this one over here. So there's the knee, something like that. There's the foot, down to the toe. We're gonna stop again so I can do that, so might as well draw the other side. Okay, so let's see, how do we do it here? This, pretty much just going across like this. And it's hard to see both strands. So this is all we're gonna do. that and I know this is basic but you know we'll do a lot more with color but uh, that's pretty much you know the, the the design you know it's a very simple elegant beach man beach banana so there you go I say we take care of the rest with color so that is Peely Unpeeled. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.